For many people, today is all about football. Outside of the two teams squaring off, comfort foods are also a big part of the showdown. But a record number of chicken wings expected to be sold today. How are business preparing amidst the shortage during a pandemic? 25 News reporter Hannah King has the answer. Our country has seen many changes over the last year, but one thing has remained the same. It's America's love for chicken wings. According to the National Chicken Council, consumption surrounding this year's big game is projected to be 1.42 billion chicken wings, and that's up 2% from last year. Battling for the Lombardi Trophy this Sunday isn't the only battle known to football fans. The search for chicken wings is just as important. It was actually the first time I went in the grocery store and couldn't get the wings because, you know, they usually have them all the time. But I asked the guy that was bringing out the meat, do you have any more wings? And he's like, no, not today, probably Monday. Some residents saw firsthand the supply and demand that happens during this time of year, and experts say there's an explanation for it. We have prices that are well above where we were last year at this time, uh, and I think that's the culmination of a couple of factors. One is... Uh, following all the turmoil of the pandemic, uh, one of the things is the industry has cut production of chicken a little bit. For David Anderson, a professor and extension economist with Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service and livestock economist, this is one of his favorite times of the year because it's time to talk chicken. I think the Super Bowl is a big event. And even if we might have smaller gatherings, given the pandemic, uh, chicken wings feature pretty prominently. I also think if we looked at the wing markets a little bit, the, our retail outlets, some of those chains, uh, you know, some of them are a lot of takeout business also. Weathering the nature of the pandemic and the takeout trend, Fat Shack in College Station says they've seen an influx in orders for people wanting to enjoy their snacks at home. I would say they've doubled. <laughs> Definitely, our wings have gotten really popular. We, especially since they are half price on Sundays, Super Bowl Sunday, you gotta have some chicken wings. According to the National Chicken Council, in restaurants, servings of chicken wings were also up 7% in 2020 versus 2019, despite an 11% decline in trips to commercial restaurants over the same time period. Reporting at College Station, Hannah King, 25 News. Hannah, thank you. Now, the National Chicken Council projects Americans will eat 1.42 billion chicken wings, so how do they stack up? Assuming Kansas City Chiefs coach Andy Reid can eat three wings per minute, it would take him more than 900 years to eat 1.42 billion wings. Now, 42 billion wings could circle the circumference of the earth three times. 42 billion wings laid end to end would also stretch 19 times from Arrowhead Stadium to Kansas City to Raymond James Stadium in Tampa.